Hey, love bugs. This is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today and this week. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And... And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a big thumbs up. And even if you feel like you want to add on to what I'm talking about in my video or even give your opinion or some information I might have left out, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. Thank you once again for the love and support and coming to see about my channel today. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you once again for the love and support. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, listening to your intuition. Today, I'm listening to the Indian meditation music for positive energy, flute music, Indian Krishna, uh, instrumental. I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description box below if you would like to go ahead and meditate to that. Um, yeah, it's just like listening to our intuition. I was um, making my video the other day about how um, Kayoka's um, attract narcissistic people. And that could, I mean, it, it's just knowing your intuition pretty much with anybody or anything that you're doing you should always make sure you never second guess yourself because there's always a reason why you know your gut feeling is telling you to do something and it's like um like when i was talking about how um Hayoka's, uh attract narcissistic people i forgot to add it's a lot of times when we attract those kind of people you have to really pay attention to what you have been through and like especially when it comes to something very traumatic or if you went through any kind of abuse or neglect or abandonment issues you never know with that narcissistic person they could been went through the same thing that mirrors the things that you've been through so there's a lot of times that it's like karmatic or whatever that, that, that you uh, both are mirroring each other on things that you might need to let go of and things that you might need to change or maybe enhance. So I forgot to tell uh, you about that. Oh, and another thing is one of my new family members, uh, Lucy, um, she, she came up with this great idea. And um, especially for a lot of people that are, you know, coming to my, uh, to my channel and watching a lot of my Hayoka videos, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start uh, a new new page um, to go ahead and expand for the for the channel and be able to know more about you know uh, the Hayoka impasse because I don't know if it's been you know it's been going around for years but a lot of people it's becoming popular now that more people are starting to talk about it and it's just the more you know they're starting to give out more information so I want to be able to do stuff like that but back to what I was saying for the intuition um, it's like anything that you go through, it's just like you never second guess yourself, especially with you being an empath or somebody who's very sensitive to different energies and stuff like that. It's just anytime you freeze up and stuff, that's that's just somebody you just really don't need to be around. If you get locked up on your words and you can't even, you know, get you all in a tizzy, you know, you need to go ahead and flee, you know, past 200 and keep on going. But it's just like a lot of times you know, we'll go down a path or we'll do something knowing good and well we heard that voice in our head telling us, hey, don't do that, or you know, this is wrong, or you you know, you'll start getting certain feelings about that, and sometimes we'll just go ahead and ignore it, and then we'll pay for it later. So, it's just, you always got to make sure you listen to those type of things, and make sure, you know, you're doing what you're supposed to, because sometimes that it becomes hard. I know you're like, you know, why are you making a video about this? You know, it was like, it was meant for me to go ahead and make it. So if there's something, something that, you know, drops down to me and they say, you know, listen to your intuition. And there's, because we're going on this journey and there's a lot of times we self-doubt ourselves. We really self-doubt ourselves. That, you know, when we'll get scared of success, you know, we'll tell, you know, we'll tell ourselves, yeah, we're ready for this and ready for that. But then wonder why things are not flowing the way we want it to. Because it's like, we're really... We think we're ready, but 
you know, mentally and emotionally, you're not ready yet. So there's a lot of times we'll go through these setbacks and a lot of times we'll go through these mistakes and stuff like that because we're supposed to learn from them. And there's a lot of times that, you know, we will stop right before the finish, you know, right at the finish line. You never know. You can be right there because there's times I've been wanting to give up on things I've gone through. I, even, you know, I even came out and told you guys, look, you know, this is what I'm going through. This is what I'm dealing with. Even though there's other things that I'm dealing with, I just chose not to share about that. But that was the, the things that I chose to deal with. And there's times that, you know, I had to keep going. I don't understand where my path is taking me or whatever, but it's not, you know, it's just I haven't put too much into my situation to where, you know, I'm starting to see a lot of things prosper from that. So I'm going to keep going because it's just like, you know, when you have a certain direction that you want to go to, you never know where, you know, if you listen to your intuition, you do what you're, you need to do. Instead of self-doubting yourself about certain things, it's just like, because we'll be our, our own worst critic, we'll be our own worst enemy, and we will give up on things and we live with that world of regret. So you really don't want to do that. So it's just like when we're going through our situation, you know, even though we might feel like, oh, I'm never going to find this love you know, this love of my life, or, you know, I'm never going to get this job, you know, when you say that, you're pretty much, you know, setting that up for your life, so you never want to do that, you know, you never know what happens in a day, just like I said on my other video, you never know what's going to happen in a day, um, so, um, I'm not right trying to hold you up about that, you know, I just went ahead and made this video, and, you know, felt like it needed to be said, um, but I will keep you more updated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get with Lucy and see what other things that, you know, we should go ahead and put on the page. So it's just like, you know, um, a lot of people are not knowing, you know, they're just now finding out, you know, this is what I can put a label on the reason why I act the way I act and how I do things backwards, the way I do things or a reason why I'm always the class clown or, you know, why do I stand off? You know, or why do I seem to have a lot of people gravitate towards me? Because a lot of people ask themselves these questions and really don't know. And then when they finally, you know, come upon the videos that I make and they find out, you know, they classify with a lot of these characteristics that a Hayoka goes through, you'll be able to open up more. You'll be able to tell your life stories if you choose to. Um, I'll be putting more information up or even if you choose to add on to the page and you know something that you might uh, you know you choose that you want to share with someone or you know with the page that you can go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and um, start getting that stuff up sometime this week uh, I've been busy doing a lot of other things so I'm just going ahead and try to do that but uh, I will keep everybody posted on that and when I find out you know the name and stuff that I was going to go go ahead and put on for that you'll know so I will keep everybody posted and I will keep you in my prayers I uh, still praying for the people in Florida that had to go through that shooting you know that was a really horrible thing to have to listen to um, it just reminded me of the Columbine thing all over again so you know if you can please keep those people and victims in your prayers and I will keep you in mind like and subscribe if you have not did that drop a line or two if you feel like you're comfortable and go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you feel like you resonate with my video or enjoy what you heard and i will see you on my next video peace and be wild